Coach Joe Gibbs is joining us from his championship team shop in Charlotte, North Carolina to talk a little racing and football. Coach, congratulations on being inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame and named to the NFL 100 all-time team. What do those honors mean to you, especially coming from not one, but two different sports? Hey, Natalie, how you doing? Hey, it's great for me to be have a chance to talk to Richmond. We got a few Redskins fans there. <laughs> and so I always feel pretty good uh, about when I get a chance to be at Richmond or go there and race. Uh, thank you to all the Redskins fans there. Well, for me, I think the last two weeks have just been a thrill. Uh, I had a chance, obviously, because of all the great support, the, on the ownership when I was with the Redskins, Mr. Cook, Mr. Snyder, and then to have the assistant coaches, all the fan base there, okay, and to be able to win games and win Super Bowls and get pushed to the front and have a chance to be in the Hall of Fame there was a thrill for me. And then I come over uh, to NASCAR and have a chance also there to have a chance to be around the right people and to have 500 teammates here working with me uh, and to be able to uh, be a part of this and get a chance to be honored with being in the Hall of Fame and racing. Unbelievable. The uh, last 10 days have been a thrill for me, and I really appreciate everybody that has pushed me to the front. I'm on the teams, but it's the people around you that make things go in both sports I've been in. Coach, you were inducted by Kyle Busch and Chesterfield native Denny Hamlin at the ceremony. You spoke about how much Denny's win in last year's Daytona 500 meant to you. What was going through your mind when he crossed the finish line? Well, I think for me, that was the greatest victory I've been a part of. And the reason for that is that was the first race that we had after J.D. went to be with the Lord. Uh, J.D. spent his entire uh, occupational life, building the race team, being here. But that, that race, um, the Daytona 500 last year was our first race uh, that we had without JD. And for him to be uh, uh, his first year after he had gone to be with the Lord, I realized when Denny Hamlin won that race with JD's name over the door, that was a thrill for us. And I can honestly say I think everybody felt like that couldn't have just happened. God was there, and I felt like J.D. was right at his side. So for all those reasons, the emotion, everything for our family, uh, that's the greatest victory I've ever been a part of. Coach, speaking of your son, J.D., Denny said he did it for J.D. As a father, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, I think that Denny was actually grew up racing late models in Manassas, Virginia, not far from Richmond. He raced in Richmond. Uh, and here was a young guy that kind of run out of money and everything with his family as they sacrificed to let him race. And J.D. went up there and found him, really. Got him in a test, winds up putting him in our cup car here. And so J.D. had found Denny. Their numbers were 11. They shared a lot of the same uh, thrills in life and desires and sh shared the same number. And for Denny to put JD's name over that door and wind up winning that race, it was a thrill for us. And most people that saw that said, that couldn't have just happened. That was not by accident. You know, it felt like God was there and JD was right at God's side uh, as that 500 took place last year. Now we're going, February 16th, we're going to the Daytona 500. We're going to race all week next week. And we're going to wind up with our biggest race in the Super Bowl of NASCAR <laughs> on the 16th. So we hope everybody's going to be watching. Coach, it's been an honor to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us and best of luck this season. You bet. Thank you.